to the seventh round of the Celerity Esports. This is the third tier today. I see some. Uh, so, yeah, the sun is shining, so I'm very happy and pleased with this because we had a lot of rain in the previous uh, previous races. Today we only have 12 drivers. As we know, uh, we're still uh, searching for some extra drivers, but today we have some absent ones. So only 12 drivers, but uh, still I'm looking forward to the race because uh, there are some top players in the game. Energy Destructor, Sneaky Tom and Cold Baseball, who are the favorites today. Let me bring you some sound as well. Sneaky Tom, first man on track. Had some trouble uh, on Britain. But still uh, leading this competition over here with Cold Baseball uh, on second place. Burgesort on the third place there. Already went out and uh, wanted to try it on the medium compound. And everybody else uh, is going for the softs. Today we can make, uh, the drivers can make uh, a one stop. It's possible to go from soft to the hard compound. Medium is also possible, but wouldn't be safe because uh, those tires will uh, definitely uh, be faded away in the end of the race. So maybe you can uh, find a better pace in the harder compound. So uh, probably we'll see some drivers who, uh, who want to try uh, to go for the hards. Sneaky Tom uh, will be the first one attempting to try uh, to set the fast time in the racing point. He's happy in it, so followed by Cole, of course, always followed by Cole. And Cole will definitely won uh, won the win in the celerity now. He's really fanatic. Also, our commentator in the second tier. Straight from America. Tom. Avoided the curbs a little bit. That's going to set the first time over here. It's gonna be a 103.9. And we go to Cole. Cole, he was, uh, he was invalid probably in the last sector. So the next driver is a McLaren Rubber Dodo, but he's, uh, he starts his hot lap right now. Also, Energy Disruptor will do so. And we have Tio Mio. Who's going well in the league. With a 103.96 mm, uh, So, close to Tom. Lucky with a 105.1. And teammate of Sneaky Tom is going to set. It was a valid one, I'm sorry, but there is Lars again. Yeah, Lars uh, brought home a podium. He's doing well for now in the league. Had a few races where he, uh, where he stayed out uh, of results because of all mistakes, but uh, it's going really well and uh, with a 103.595 he sets the first time uh, for now at the moment. Nicky Rizzles is not happy with this time, I think. And there's Rebredoro with a 106.1. Can go faster, of course. Let me share one moment. I will bring you on board to a driver. I don't know why Google uh, Sword is in Renault. <laughs> he should be driving in the Williams because he's a teammate of Nicky Rizzles. So. Uh, Ah, he definitely, uh, technically, uh, is, a, is a Williams uh, racing driver, so he will score, score points for his own team, of course. Maybe just like the color, maybe something, uh, probably something went wrong there. Brother Adam, 
56 for the moment with a 104.406. Rabradodo is going to pit. Also tried on the medium, sir. So I uh, forgot him to say it with the 106. But he will try to go for the softs. There's Hachi. P8 with a 104.966. Next driver on track is brother Adam, but I think this is in lap. I'm not quite sure about it. Will he try it again? I don't think so. No, it's just in lap. I'm gonna share the link to the Discord channel so uh, our our members can watch the, the stream. I'm happy today, the title is okay. I don't know after the race if it uh, will be the same because uh, yeah, PS4 and Twitch doesn't uh, always work so uh, so good often together, so I'm sorry. So when I put a new title, uh, it always takes the previous title of the last race. So, But for now it says uh, round 7 uh, at Austria, so it's, uh, it's going well. really want to share it well that's what I mean if I go to videos it says Britain round six so I don't know about it you a lot on board with Tumio 87. Energy Destructor has the second place there with a 103.775. Theo Mio. He did improve there. Got himself a 103.880. Luki, will he improve? Oh, he started his hot lap. I'm sorry. <coughs> Just got full ERS management. 103 point. Yeah, he did improve there. So this is the difference at the moment. Lars still up for the first place, followed by Energy Destructor. So Lars ahead, uh, ahead of Energy Destructor with two tens there. And Kiwi is really close. It, the difference is only four thousands to Energy Destructor. And they are already close. Nicky Rizzles uh, had to leave a gap for 7 times at the moment, but uh, the first 5 drivers are really close to each other, so this can be really exciting. exciting. Who's gonna win the pole position today? Yeah, after this weekend we will put some uh, effort in... Uh, Gathering new drivers for the 30 
beginning of the season we had uh, we had plenty but some of them uh, they, they fall away this always happens uh, when you start a leak both Red Bulls attempting for uh, another try there because goal was invalid of course And he definitely will want to bring uh, something home here today. Looky look. Had an invalid lap. Unfortunate. Nicky will try again. Burgersort will improve there, got P5 at the moment with a 103.8 and there the Red Bulls will show up first we got Cole and he got himself a time over there P7 at the moment and Hachi P10 with a 104.3 I definitely know that Cole wants something more yeah, still uh, almost six minutes in the clock, so. Taking this corner nicely, go back to Tilmio, starts his hot lap. Brother Adam goes into the pits. And next driver, who also went for the pits, is uh, Nicky Rizzles. They always do, they always do so. There we will see Sneaky Tom. Yeah, there it is. 103.5. <laughs> and he has pole for the moment. And Lars, he will try again. Can he take over the position again? Bit of oversteer in the first corner, but it's going well. It's the grass. You definitely don't want to do that as well. Bottas corner. Can he retake it? That's the question. Don't see any purpose. Like, no, he goes inside. He's not happy with his lap. So Lars will go for the fresh softs. Try it uh, one more time again. Roberto has to do better. Same counts for Luki. I think Archie and brother Adam and Nicky Rizzles want to do a bit better as well. But for now every driver is under under the 105. So that's one uh, 
think it's very pleasant. Sneaky Tom, he did. Uh, yeah, he did retire in the pit, so I think uh, this is enough for him. Maybe he already tried three times on the on the on all of his tires that he has in his in his pit in the pit box. So Sneaky Tom is happy with the result, and uh, of course it's a nice result. A 103.5 in the third tier. There's nothing wrong with it, I can tell you. Last try for Hachi. Also last attempt for Kiwi. Brother Adam did improve to a 104.2. Got uh, the US you need uh, to bring one lap extra. Huh? Nicky Rizzles. Unfortunate. I think that uh, he crossed uh, the curbs too much in the last uh, sector, in the last corner. Yeah. Because he got added for the next lap as well. So what can Archie do? Can he do better than his teammate? He, to, he has to improve with four tens there. Almost! Wow! It <laughs> looked to look to Cole and Archie, man. It uh, only cost them uh, one thousand. So they are really close to each other there. Right, so this is Robert Dodo. He did improve, but still P10 for him. Brother Adam didn't improve there. Also, uh, what I told you, he didn't got the ERS for it. And Bulgasor, he did improve to the P6, so 6th place for him, with a 103.888. Tio Mio, what can he do? He's just in time to do one extra lap there. And I think Lars uh, is going to do the same. Oh, look, he has crashed into the wall. He spun away in the first corner, so his final try will uh, cost him his front wing. Also has to start from P11 there. So unfortunate. Next time better again. Rebredodo with his final attempt. Still P10. I have to get used to it because uh, the time we are seeing on the scoring board it doesn't uh, match to the time the drivers are seeing. So for us the checkered flag has uh, had already uh, fallen in front of them but they can do uh, one extra lap because yeah, again the time doesn't suit. Well it looks like uh, Sneaky Tom will do uh, do something good here and take his second pole position. Where energy destructor? No, no. He won't do it today. Already got four poles on his name. Nobody can steal the ball. Nicky Riss has improved a bit. Also Lars didn't. Yeah, really strange. They already say they are finished, but uh, some drivers uh, even set two laps extra. What? Call set invite. I don't know why. Oh man, that's uh, that's not so good. I 
I think Cole lost the connection here. Yeah, I cannot invite him. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know uh, if he can join the race now. Maybe he's too late. I really hope he can join the race now. Well, looks like uh, Cole's ready, so I really hope he's in before time, because uh, otherwise uh, the race is over for him. He lost connection, he kicked out of the session. But I always send two invites, so when something like this happens that every driver can rejoin the, the league. Yeah, we are getting ready and we are starting off for the formation lap at the moment. Is Cole in is the question. I do think he's in. The two bulls behind each other. Oh, Archie, cold tires. No damage, luckily. I also cannot be damaged in the, in the formation lap, I was thinking. But he spun away in the first corner there, so better now than in the race. <laughs> yeah, those uh, tires were definitely cold there. It's also a hard corner, probably first corner, the hairpin. But it's a uh, second corner. And of course, last sector, they are hard on, the, on this track, on the Red Bull ring. But the first corner and the hairpin, the, those corners are the they are the hardest ones because uh, you definitely can uh, spin away there if you have to throttle too much. So drivers have to be careful for it, and drivers are getting in line. Only 12 drivers today, but we will see. Uh, I hopefully we will see some fun today. Well, I'm very pleased that uh, it looks like uh, it's going to be dry all race long. I think drivers are really happy with it as well. It's the predicted pit stop strategy, as I already told you guys. You can go for the medium, so you can go for the hearts. It's what you like. It really looks uh, not much drivers now. <laughs> but there are, t there are 12 drivers. We are getting ready. And the lights are out. And there we go, seven race in the celerity, Tom is he's gone and Lars is following him, he stayed in a bit early, uh, Tom is definitely a waiter. Energy Destructor pushing already on Lars there. And I see Cole already gained two places, it's going well for him, Boog is on the inside of Kiwi. And now they are battling. There is Cole, next to him is Bugesort. Cole seems to have the better exit here. That's going well for now, Bugesort also is doing well. Cole 
on the inside of Kiwi. Already gained three places now. He's going. Uh, he's doing well. He's following Lars now. Looks like don't cost him too much time uh, to already be fighting for the podium again. Like he always does, of course, every race he was present, he uh, brought home a podium. Not a win yet, but definitely got the quality. A lock up for Energy Destructor. Kiwi on the inside. Oh, he hits Burgesort a little bit. I think he pushed him uh, off the track too much, a bit. I don't see any damage there. But it was a bit, a bit too much for, for, uh, from Kiwi. See some position change. And Chris was last two places. A goal, yeah, like I already told you guys, he gained three places there. Everything seems to go uh, really well. Nobody uh, did crash or has hit it. So the first three laps are uh, very okay by me. Yeah, Sneaky Tom, leading the race there, had a perfect start. Energy Destructor had a good start as well. Lars lost one place, but still, uh, still up for the podium now. With Cole uh, right behind him. QE2 is taking a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings there. I think this is the first penalty. Fastest lap by Cole Baseball. 107.0. Oh, uh, Energy Destructor and Tom. Oh, it's a switchback for Tom, really nice. But now you, you won't have the exit. And Lars also attempting to take over here. So, Energy Destructor, he gained the place. And Sneaky Tom lost his uh, the lead there. Lars is also seeing his shot. I think uh, Robert Dodo he gained the place on Brother Adam. Oh, something went wrong uh, with Hachi. I don't know if he got damage. Yes. Yes, his uh, right side on the front wing is damaged. So we will uh, pit for the hearts. That's what I'm thinking he will do. Robert Dodo, second driver with a three second time penalty there. Still has the DRS on Energy Disruptor, who is uh, already a second away there. And will Sticky Tom have DRS again? That's the question. He has it, so that's lucky for him because otherwise uh, Lars would take the advantage there. But Cole on the inside of Lars, will he break later? He does a little bit, he's on the inside. But it wasn't enough. But he already tried. Brother Adam gained the place on uh, Robert Dodo again, so they uh, they are switching. Well, it's exciting, I have to say. Uh, Sneaky Tom, he lost his DRS at the moment, so now it will be very hard for him in the, on, the, on, the, on the second straight. There's Lars already on the inside, I think now Sneaky Tom has the advantage of the better exit, but Lars with the DRS. Will it be enough? Or Sneaky Tom is defending a little bit, 
No, it's not enough. It was uh, a good exit from Tom. And he managed to, uh, to keep the second place there. Nice effort. Luki also going for the pits. He did go for the mediums. I think uh, this is not a, not a good decision. Because they won't last till the end. So there will be a two-stopper. Nicky Vessels already taking over on Luki. Still has some good traction in his tires there. And I know Nicky Rizzles, he's not happy with P11. Lars, third driver with a three second time penalty. And there is Cole on the left side of Lars. Takes over. Lars, no, he won't uh, attempting to uh, switch back. So Cole, third place. And now who has the DRS on Tom. For now he has to leave it like this. Kiwi and Burgesort also, in, uh, also following uh, Lars by two seconds. I like uh, the way uh, Brodo and Brother Adam are racing uh, as well. Seems like uh, they are matching. Must be some fun there. I hope you guys enjoyed as well already. And there is Cole who is going to try it on Sneaky Top on the outside. Uh, Sneaky Tom, he breaks very late. Can he have a good exit there? He has it. But I think. No, I'm sorry, I don't see DRS uh, to them both, so maybe one forgotten to take the DRS. Go on the inside there. <laughs> this is the way we like to see them driving. They are always pushing each other. Look at this. I love it. And this is definitely not over yet. Energy Destructor, yeah, he's happy with this. He drives in his own air. It's clean air. And he drives away already ahead by two seconds now. And here's the second try. Nah, that's not the second try, it's already uh, probably the fifth try of call. And they are going to get it there. Nicely done. Go as DRS on Sneaky Tom. Uh, sneaky Tom, yes, <laughs> he breaks really late. He does a block pass there. Cold baseball on the inside. And there they go again. And Lars also want to... Uh, he wants to be involved. He really wants to be involved. I don't know what happened here. Ah, oh, damage as well on his uh, right side of his wing. Unfortunately for Lars, really. Because, yeah, he was really involving uh, the situation. Because Tom and Cole, they are really racing hard to each other. Now oh, Sneaky Thomas right on the arrest. There he goes. Goes pushing with his ears there. Oh yes. And the switch back of Cole. Oh he hit it. He hit it uh, Tom a little bit. I hope there isn't damage there. I don't think so. No, it looks alright. And now Burgersword and Kiwi. <laughs> they are also close to them because of course when they are battling it, it will cost time. 
Luke 2 and the destructor already gained uh, added by 4 seconds. But this is what we want to see in the Celerity Esports, really. And it happens every week. I will never forget it already. This is fighting for the title. Goal! Break really deep. Nicely done. The second DRS as well there. And now Cole has to try uh, to get rid of Tom. But it won't be that easy, I can tell you. This is a short track. A short track with two long straights with DRS on them. So it's gonna be hard to get rid of Tom and same count for Tom Tom is going for the pit stop so he's going for the undercut on Cole Baseball at the moment there he is and I think he's going for the hearts I'm not quite sure yes he's going for the hearts and where will we where will, where, will, where will he be at? Brother Adam is also going for the, for the pitch up there. And Lars is too far away. Uh, yeah. <coughs> so P7 for Sneaky Tom. Behind Robert Dodo. And now Cole has to respond. Lucky with a 3 second time penalty as well. On this track it's hard to avoid those, uh, those warnings. Is he going to respond here? Yes, of course he is. No he isn't. He really isn't. So he thinks the space is alright there. Or maybe he really want to try the opposite of Tom and go for the mediums. And try to go on on the soft. But will it, will it be the right choice here? It can be, of course. Well, as, as do do so see some grey clouds over there. And he is going to be the overtake of Kiwi on the inside of Cold Baseball. Was not giving up. I don't know why energy destructor and what's happened to him. Well, something went wrong on him. Yeah, he's, he has some damage. He has got uh, himself some damage there, really. So, unfortunately, probably he made a mistake again. Oh, that's really unfortunate. It already happened a few times. He's really the fastest driver on track, but not the most consistent one. Then this will cost him a lot of points. Yeah. He lost place uh, to Sneaky Tom now, and I think that Sneaky Tom is the winner at, at the moment. So not for the entire race, of course, but at the moment looks like yeah, he's uh, 16 seconds away. Sorry, yeah, 17 seconds uh, away from Kiwi now, and they still need to uh, to make the pit stop. Tio Mio with Lars right behind him. Lars didn't give up yet, of course not.
Yeah, this is what I meant. They're going to pitch and they are... Huh? Huh? Oh, this has to be a mistake. Really? Well, for Paul, I'm really hoping that this, that this isn't, isn't a mistake. A Kiwi is going to try to do on the mediums. Two seconds behind Tom, his teammate. But Cole, he went for the for the softs. Uh, that's really strange, I have to uh, say. So, yeah, he will have to make a two-stopper and go for the mediums later because yeah, you need two compounds in the race. You cannot uh, race the entire race on one compound. Of course, you will have those that attraction now. I really want to see the outcoming of this because, yeah, we really need to gain uh, a lot of time now. He did break really good there. And takes position on Kiwi, of course. Both new tires, but Cole with a softer compound. Dodo right behind Hachi there. Oh, he hit it Hachi a little bit. He pushed him, uh, pushed him a little bit. I don't see any damage. So that's uh, luckily for Dodo. Takes over one position there nicely on Hachi. Seems like Hashida is not giving up here <laughs> with those 10 laps old softs. Ah, this is uh, this is it. Cold baseball, fastest lap there. Yeah, now he's uh, right behind Tom, and he really has to overtake and drive away for about 16 seconds if you want to make it. And now he has to do it. Don't wait too long. Uh, my apologies. <clears throat> oh, I think Robert Dodo made a mistake. Or oh, it was the no, sorry, it was the DRS of Hachi. He had a good exit. Well, that's not too bad at all. Oh, don't wait too long, man. Past Tom. And don't forget, Energy Destructor is still uh, not that far away. And with still 20 laps, 90 laps to go at the moment, there's Cole taking over. But with still 90 laps to go, Energy Destructor still can fight back, really. Because his damage yeah, really uh, comes at a time that he had already had to go for the pits. So he's uh, a bit safe over there. Of course, he had to replace his front wing. It will cost uh, four to five extra seconds in the pit stop. But he also uh, was ahead for about six seconds. So six seconds uh, to Tom and Cole. So maybe he can do something back because he's already r right behind Bourdesort here. Ah, yeah, it's going to rain. I'm sorry guys, it's going to rain again. Oh, it's going to be very slippery. Well, I think uh, <laughs> first season of Celerity Esports, <laughs> probably it will uh, rain every race. I think God has just given it to us. <laughs> Is going to be the overtake of energy destructor. No, he didn't do it yet. And this is his moment, he will do it, of course. Takes a bit of slip stream and takes the left side on Boog Sort. And I think it's done. But guys, watch out because it's going to be very slippery. And maybe we will see some change 
in our predictions because yeah, the Hachi is already the first one. I don't know uh, if it's on time. Well, maybe Cole in the end. Maybe he was uh, already noticing it was going to rain. That's why he went for the softs again to take the first place. I think he will go on one more lap. He will do so. I think uh, Hachi did uh, pit it for the intermediates too early. Because there is still uh, some good pace to be found at, uh, at the circuit at the moment. But be, be, uh, be aware. One mistake can cost you uh, a win. Yeah, Cole, maybe in the end it was a very smart move to make. Brooksort, second driver who went for the intermediates. Yeah, it was a really smart move. Because everybody has to go for the inters. And... Yeah, then it was... He, he couldn't... Uh, oh. That's what I meant. Don't make mistakes, Paul. I think this has to be the lap to go for the Inters. Kiwi right behind his teammate. They are struggling. Oh, Tio Mio. I think he lost it. And now the Bredodo gained, uh, gained the place again. P6. Kiwi, three second time penalty for multiple warnings. And Tio Mio and Brother Adam. Oh. He pushed him off a little bit. That's hard, I can tell you. Yes, they're going. Not Cole, uh, he's thinking no. I <laughs> still can find some pace. Kiwi and Energy Destructor uh, thinks the same. goes I already see some rain uh, coming off the ground everybody goes in except the uh, first three drivers there and the uh, last driver Nicky Rizzles is this the right choice to make cool still is yeah, it still is but now you need to go now you need to go takes it really easy there of course oh oh <laughs> you did all right thank you and energy disruptor will do the same and now every driver is in the, in the pits and uh, over to intermediate tires. We will see Sneaky Tom and Cole. Two seconds. This is the gap. I think maybe Cole... I think he went uh, to the pits. He had to go one lap earlier. But, he has fresh tires now, as Tom. I think nobody was expecting this. <laughs> that, it's, that it's going to rain. Uh, every race, we had rain, really. Only, only Bahrain uh, was dry, of course. Ball baseball, he took a penalty there. I think uh, Tom still uh, managed to, uh, to be penalty free. So, this can be it.
ja, it's going to be uh, harder now to overtake. The arrest is offline. So we really have to do it in the oh, we really have to do it in the slipstream now. Sorry, Lars was going really deep there. But it has better traction as Bulgasaur is, uh, is, is having. I would really laugh if it's, go if it's going to dry up again and our drives have to, have to go back on the, on the dry compound again. Because there are still 13 laps to go. But I have to admit, it's still fun to watch it. The change to the... The change of weather and the change in the tires. Yeah, so the uh, first six drivers, they are uh, pretty close to each other. Lars is yeah, almost nine seconds uh, away from Energy Destructor, but really Rubber Dodo, he's uh, 16 seconds. Uh, Behind Burgesort, and right behind him is Hachi. So back to Cole. I think uh, he's really praying that Sneaky Tom will take a time penalty as well, because if Tom uh, hasn't got one at the moment, then he will take over place for Cole because it's only one and a half seconds this is the gap racing points doing really well by the way because Kiwi is also right behind them two and a half seconds behind Sneaky Tom so in 2-3 for racing point team Also, uh, Lars and Rabradodo in the McLarens. They, uh, it's looking like they will bring some points home as well. But Lars could do better, of course. He really could. But I didn't see the, the mistake. So I don't know if it was his fault or maybe in, in contact with, uh, with Cole or Tom. But still P5. So it can be a good result, uh, it still can be a good result of course. Yeah boys I have to tell you that uh, I was uh, tested for Corona, it was positive. So I'm already inside for uh, about two weeks already. And uh, my laptop has crashed. The hard disk has crashed. I already told you last week. But for the, for the viewers who didn't notice, uh, yeah, on our Instagram channel and uh, our overviews and standings, they uh, they couldn't be updated because uh, because of the laptop problem. And also because I had Corona, I couldn't uh, fix it. So this weekend uh, I can go outside again and I will fix the problem. I really hope that uh, the same hard disk can be saved because otherwise we will lose all data. Our uh, editing uh, programs and files will all be missed then. Also some personal items but uh, this really belongs, uh, this is really going about a leak. So if, if it can be saved then I have to make everything again. And then we have nothing left and it's going to, uh, I totally have to do everything again. It will cost me an amount of work, but yeah. Of course the league uh, will not suffer from it. Oh, energy destructor, <laughs> he almost made a mistake again. But uh, he 
guys will hear it soon. Soon enough. And with good hope, uh, everything uh, will be back as we are we were used. And Lars I took a three-second time penalty again. I thought it was already a second one there. Bumpy bumpy. Ah, brother Adam is also closing in. And energy disruptor also right behind Kiwi. So, will Cole Baseball take his first win today or, or will he not because he had a time penalty there? Yeah, we will find out in the end because I'm alone. If we had two, uh, two commentators and uh, couple pair of eyes and uh, somebody could watch uh, the race the race director in the meantime but uh, that's not possible it is possible but then we will, do, we will miss the race and, uh, we won't do it brother Adam takes the inside over the brother Dodo he does it and has done it oh but it's not over yet <laughs> they were already matching in the, in the beginning of the race. I think uh, Robert Dodo, he, uh, he steered in a bit too early there. That's why uh, Brother Adam uh, pushed him a bit. But still, every driver in the race. And that's something really positive. And I already see some... Uh, I, I did see a great start without any damage, so I already have to give the credits to the drivers here. It's the third tier, it's our, uh, our last tier, but still we see some good racing and we see some positive things. And this for the first season of the Celerity, yeah, it's going really well and I'm happy. So after this weekend we will only put effort uh, for gathering drivers for the third tier. Because uh, this week uh, we did find some extra drivers for the first one. And the second one is also full. Of course there are a few drivers absent because uh, last week and the week before we had, uh, we had more drivers. Of course that did happen. It's the lowest uh, level there is. And in the beginning of the league, yeah, you always have some, you always have some drivers that uh, won't last long, you know. Because everybody was new to each other, and now the, the drivers who are still standing, they know each other now, and they uh, really have fun over in this league. Yes, it's gonna be overtake. Kiwi defended a little bit. But energy disruptor still moved to the right side there, and he took over now, third place. Done it by a nice, uh, by a nice move. Sneaky Tom, one second behind. Call baseball, so it's closing in a little bit, not much, but every bit counts. And if he, yeah, uh, I really didn't see a penalty coming for him. We also didn't see any safety cars or virtual safety cars. I think uh, every driver can be really proud. Of course, not by their own. Uh, some drivers uh, won't have the best race for themselves. But sportsmanship is definitely 
definitely present today on track. And that's why the drivers are racing in the league. They want to grow without drivers hitting each other like in uh, ranked lobbies. Or unranked lobbies, doesn't matter. Energy Destructor, uh, you really can see when he drives in his own air, he's way faster than he's driving behind uh, Kiwi, he was driving behind Kiwi. But still, sometimes have some trouble struggling with, uh, with the rear end. I think Cole is going to lap Nicky Rizzles there. Yes. I think Nicky Rizzles doesn't like rain at all. And yeah, as I already told you, I think uh, most of the drivers didn't expect the rain as well. So they are all driving on a dry setup. I definitely can uh, tell you myself, I was so stupid as well. I mean, I was uh, I was even more stupid because uh, we already knew that it was going to rain uh, in certain tracks. <laughs> I still didn't have some uh, wet setups, so that's really stupid. I think maybe Nicky Wizzles has got some damage here, or is he just going to pit for a new set of tires? It's not about luxury. Well, let me see where's Luke. Lucky Luke. He's napping, and Cole now still, uh, I think Cole will not lap Lucky Luke. Uh oh, Energy Destructor. He's closing in. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you going for the dries? Is it uh, dry already? <laughs> Is it dry? Uh, don't see any rain indeed. But I still see some uh, wet conditions on the track. Well, let's see the difference between uh, Lux and Burgersort, for example. I think it's too early, man. Because brother Adam has more traction than Bullisort. Look. It's too early. This race you will uh, you, you don't have to pit again for a dry compound. It's a mistake. Oh! There is an overtake of energy destructor on Sneaky Tom! Yeah, Nicky wants uh, to be Cam Block on track indeed, yeah. <laughs> Those are drifting sessions. It's not totally worse, I've seen worse, the drivers already went for a dry compound, but then it was totally worse. Because I do see some pace in those tires at the moment, so maybe he can re overtake Brother Adam in the final laps. But it's going to be exciting between Sneaky Tom and Energy Disruptor and maybe Cole Basewell can take the profit of this because he's driving away now and he needs 3 seconds if Sneaky Tom doesn't have penalty. Energy Disruptor overtaking Sneaky Tom again on the inside there. Sneaky Tom wanna do a switch back. No, it wasn't uh, possible. But really, this battling is very positive for Cole because they will lose time and Cole can drive away and he needs three seconds that's what I'm suspecting but Sneaky Tom 
needs to be fighting against energy destructor because energy destructor is fast and if he will uh, drive away from Tom he will close in to call and I don't know about energy destructor if he if he has got a penalty it's almost three seconds it's exciting always exciting in the third tier in the end always Hachi three second time penalty for the multiple warnings Oh, an energy disruptor is closing in. Two and a half seconds. Oh, made a small mistake there. But not much. It won't cost him too much time. Uh, final lap goes in. Cold baseball. Cross the fin finish line for the final last time there. Oh, he definitely got Sneaky Tom in the pocket. But is he also having energy disruptor? As well. I don't know. Energy Disruptor is pushing. He's pushing now. Tio Mio also right behind Robert Dodo. Well, we will see the end now. We will see uh, how it's going to work out. Will Cole Baseball win his first race in the Celerity Esports? Well, I think he definitely is driver of the day. Look at this. Six places won from P7 to P1. He definitely earns the winning. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Final sector. Final corner. 1.8 seconds ahead of Energy Destructor. Crosses the finish line as the first driver there. Energy Disruptor. Oh, Cold Baseball. That's his first win in the Celerity Esports. Energy Disruptor had the same. He had a penalty as well. And Sneaky Tom, like I already told you, he didn't. So now it's only 1.4 seconds behind Energy Disruptor. Congratulations, Cold Baseball. You were really lucky. You were really lucky that Energy Disruptor took over Tom and he had a penalty as well there. And because of those drivers were battling each other, he could drive away. And that's how he won the race, really. Congratulations to him. He's, he shall be very happy at the moment. And tomorrow morning, you guys can vote on driver of the day. Well, I definitely suggest this driver here in the Red Bull. He took most places. He has his first win. And every race he's present, he had a podium. Great driving. Also from Energy Destructor. He uh, made a mistake. He had a win uh, on forehand, but later uh, he really, uh, yeah, he really knocked himself back to the race, and it, yeah, it gained him uh, second place. Sneaky Thomas also awesome driving, awesome drive from him as well. He fight it uh, with Colby. Did really see some great things there. Kiwi as well, and Lars also took P4. Well, guys, really, I, uh, yeah, this is the drive of the day. Cold baseball, of course. I really see the great race, only 12 drivers. And it's the third tier only, but still very satisfying to watch it. And I, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well, and I really think you did. I really think you guys did. So, tomorrow morning, you can vote on uh, for driver of the day on our Instagram channel. We don't have any editing, overviews or standings yet, but this weekend we will solve the problem. So uh, yeah, for now the first place won by Cole Baseball Stud in the Red Bull. Also with the fastest lap with a 106.029. A really nice drive. Energy Destructor the second place. Won by him, Sneaky Tom on the third one. Lars van B on the fourth one. Kiwi and Boogersort P5 and P6. Brother Adam. And Tio Mio, P7 and P8, Hachi and Luki Air. Those are the drivers who are in the points. Robert Dodo and Nicky Rizzles, P11 and P12. Well, this was the race on the Red Bull Ring. The first one in the third tier. We will be back tomorrow in the second one. Cole Baseball, he will, uh, yeah, he will be your commentator tomorrow. And I will take over again uh, for, the for the first tier. So, 